Okay, this is a video that will demonstrate the dead zone issue that I've been experiencing in the thumbsticks. This is from the in-game control settings for Ghost Runner. The dead zone is set to zero and I'll back out. Go right into the game. See on the right thumbstick, I'll begin to move it. And we've been moving it and then it just activates. See? Moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, and then it goes. Moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, and then it goes. I'll check the in-game dead zone settings. Left stick is dead zone zero. Right stick dead zone zero. So there's absolutely zero dead zone as displayed in the settings and yet I'm still getting a dead zone and if I go into settings controller and then device support There we are, I'm just lift up the, see in the left trigger I'm getting some type of actuation where I'm not even touching the trigger. And if I move any of the thumbsticks, I'll be able to move it without actually, that was the trackpad activating. I've been moving the thumbstick and then it activates, watch. Moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, and then it activates. Moving it, moving it, activates. Same for over here. Moving it, moving it, moving it, moving it, and then it activates. And I'll go through all of the... Run your finger across. Right trackpad. Move the left thumbstick. Okay. Pressing all the remaining buttons to go through calibration. Gonna miss all the rear and the bumpers. So, see, I'm getting some type of minimal activity on the triggers as well. sure what that's all about there but not touching the left trigger and yet there's getting some input being picked up but mainly it's this dead zone situation with the thumbsticks like I feel like the Xbox controller does not have this type of issue at all but the Steam Deck thumbsticks do for some reason. All right, that's about it, thanks.